hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button now let's get right into this video so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys this new launch from madam glam this is their rubber base shells and at first i didn't really know what this was like i was so confused because it's called a rubber base but i will get into that later and as always i love to show how these are vegan animal cruelty free and 21 free formulas so they are perfectly safe to use on your nails and here is the top view of the gel the top view shows you what color you're going to get and honestly it's pretty accurate so i'm going to show you guys the consistency these rubber base shells are very thick um thicker than what i'm normally used to And this color here is called Vietnam. I forgot to show you guys first, but I'm just going to show you guys the colors. This next one here is called Thailand. And this one is more of a milky white. I really enjoyed this color, super pretty. The next color is called India, and this is just a pink tone. And this color reminds me of like the cover pink acrylics that I see people using for their like French tip nails or like an ombre, how they have like the, the natural pink color on the nail beds. This color really reminded me of that and is also very pretty. So I'm going to go in to swatch these colors just to give you guys a more closer and detailed look of these colors and consistency. So first I'm swatching this brown color which is Vietnam and the consistency reminded me of build gel These are more on the thicker side to be gel polished but is is softer than build gel Like here you kind of see me like kind of flow that on in like a little I'm not sure what's the word to call it but you know how when using build gel you have to go in with the slip layer and then kind of flow that builder gel down. That's kind of the vibe this gave me. And this here is the first swatch of that brown color. These colors are more on the sheer side. Although this white was a little bit more opaque. But it was still given kind of sheer. Even though it is a milky white. I really love this white color. It was very pretty. And the next color is also going to be more on the sheer side. So a little bit more about these rubber base gels. These rubber base gels are ultra flexy and strong at the same time. These rubber base gels is the perfect solution for weak and thin nails. They are also thicker than the regular base coat gel. And the base coat can be used as a base coat for any material. And it makes your gel manicure last a whole lot longer, more durable, and it prevents your nails from peeling. So once I swatch all of these colors, this is how the first coat looks. And honestly, they look pretty nice. But I was curious to see how they look with the second coat. So I'm going to do that really quickly and cure for another 30 seconds. So of course I'm going to mention my discount code. If you are interested in anything that I show from Madam Glam, be sure to use my discount code KEY30 and they will save you 30% off your entire order. And then after applying these colors for a second coat, this is how they look. And honestly, I love all of these colors. So moving on to my nails, these are some full cover nail tips that I got from AliExpress and these are the long square. Although they aren't as long as I thought they would be once I got them, which is why I haven't really used them in previous videos. But I'm going to be using them, I will make sure I link them down below. And I went ahead and put these on using the Apray method and here I'm just cutting down my nail tips. So for these rubber base gels, to me I kind of feel like these would be perfect for people with like real nails who do manicures since the consistency is so thick and they're also very sheer like you don't want to apply too many layers to get the opaqueness you want because they will eventually get super bulky and thick so i wanted to do some short nails to kind of mimic a natural nail set so that's why i cut them down i made sure they're all the same length and then i'm going in with my hand file to kind of clean up that free edge and to make it a little bit more straighter so i'm going to repeat that over all the nails So after removing the dust, I'm going to go in with my Melanie Susie nail drill. 
and I'm just putting on a new sanding band because I'm going to be removing the shine from these nail tips. I wanted to include this step because when doing a manicure, you want to make sure that you remove the shine from your nails and that will allow these gels to adhere properly and last longer. So I'm just going to be removing the shine from these nail tips. And honestly, this step is just so satisfying to watch like how these go from shiny to kind of give it that matte frost look. Like I just love that so much. So I'm just going to repeat this over all the nails and then I will come back. So after I remove the shine and the dust from the nails, these are the two colors that I decide to use, which is Vietnam and Thailand. So I'm just going to be taking the Vietnam color and applying it to all of my nails except my pointer finger. This is my third attempt at trying a set with these rubber base gels. The first set that I did due to these rubber base being so thick, my nails did come out lumpy in some places because I did do too many coats trying to get the opacity I wanted and I didn't like those in the end so I didn't end up posting it and the second set I did halfway through I realized I wasn't gonna like them at all so I just didn't even finish those and I just waited it out to do the third set I never wanted to feel like I'm just throwing out content just to post if I don't like the nails or like I don't like the video I will not post at all I will just redo the entire set until I feel like they are decent enough to post even though I am a beginner and all my nails won't come out perfect I just still wanted to feel like I have quality content to show you guys one video I attempted and it was my third time trying now that video has 50,000 views and I feel like if I did post those first nails that I did I feel like it wouldn't have 50,000 views so for that I'm so proud of myself for trying over and over again and it just goes a long way and that video will be linked in the cards but since this was my third attempt I did kind of know what I could do with these and what not to do so I'm making sure that these layers are very thin and I'm also making sure that they are even, which is why you see me going over it a little bit more than I need to. It's just to evenly distribute these rubber base gels across my nail. Once I do that, I'm just going to cure in the nail light for 30 seconds and then go over it with a, a second thin coat. Before I cure these in the nail light, I do make sure to wipe around my cuticle area and the side of my skin just so that these aren't cured to my skin. And once I finish that second layer with that Vietnam color, I'm going to go in with the Thailand color which is that beautiful milky white and I'm going to repeat in that same step on my pointer finger. I'm making sure I keep this layer very thin. I'm going to cure for 30 seconds and then add another layer. So like I mentioned, I did want to keep these very simple. So after curing, I'm going in with these holographic butterflies and these are from a cart. I'm not sure if I bought these separate or they came in a kit. I just know they are from a cart. So I'm not sure to link in the description box just in case you guys are interested. You just kind of have to look through their website. But I'm going in with these butterflies and I'm placing these on my middle pinky and thumb.
Once I have my butterflies placed where I want them to be, I'm going in with some no white top coat from a cart and I'm just applying that over my middle finger. I'm going to be adding some rhinestones around the cuticle area. So the reason for me adding the top coat first before I add the rhinestones is because I don't like the buildup around the rhinestones if I was to like go over it after. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the rhinestones into the wet top coat and then cure. Once it's cured, I'm done with that nail so I can move on to the rest. I'm going to be adding some simple rhinestones around the cuticle area and I'm going to be repeating that on my pinky and my thumb as well. For my index and ring finger, since I didn't apply butterflies, I'm going to go in with a little bit more bling than the other nails. So I'm just going to be adding a big one and kind of surrounding the cuticle area with smaller ones, placing those how I like, and then I'm just going to cure. And the same design I'm going to be doing for my index will be done on my ring finger. I'm going to cure these in place and I'm going to add my cuticle oil and I will be done with my nails. Once I have these rhinestones cured into place and add my cuticle oil, these are how the nails turn out. And honestly, these were just so perfect to me. Like, they came out so much more better than the first two sets that I've done. Since I did attempt two times before, I had kind of knew what to do and what not to do, which made this set turn out so much more better. I will link my discount code down below. Working with these rubber base gels was so interesting to me because I never worked with anything like this before. I actually enjoyed it. The set turned out pretty nice. And as always, comment down below what you guys think. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.